Hi there, in this update, there are a few new features added. It includes curly hair and braids hair generation using geometry nodes. At the same time, it added support for the new hair system. Therefore, Blender 3.3 or above is required. With a curve selected, you can add bevel profile shape to it and adjust its parameters. Now you can also turn it into a curly shape. The resolution is length based, so lower the number, higher the mesh density. When use custom profile toggle it is on, you can switch the strand bevel profile shape. Tilt it or edit the shape. And convert to mesh. In this update, braids generation is a breeze. Choose a strand amount, then press braids hair. Just like curly hair, the controls for braids hair are similar. At higher frequency, a higher mesh density is required to properly display the deformation. Hold shift to adjust the number smoothly. Use scale to adjust the overall size. Stretch 1 and 2 to scale along separate axis. Rather than a simple circle shape, use custom profile for different looks. It is worth noting that when the curve is jagged, the braid's hair result could be bad. Manually tweak the curve for better result. At the same time, don't forget to use Blender's Tilt and Radius tool to adjust the curve. Finalize hair will turn it into mesh and remove any relevant objects. Support for the new hair system is included, now you can sculpt hairs. As the new hair system evolves over time, making hair should be a lot quicker and easier. At the time of recording, it cannot be converted to curves or meshes using Blender default convert function. Press convert to curve button will turn it into poly curves. Then you can fine tune each strand's radius or tilt. Or turn them into braids hair. If you want to reset the tilt or radius, there are two operators that can do it under miscellaneous tab. They will work on selected curve points. When happy with the result, you can turn them into mesh. Geometry nodes are used for the curly hair, braids hair, and new hair system. If you open a geometry node panel, you will find two curve graphs on the top. The left one control the overall shape, by default, it is pointy near the hair tip. On the right, it control each strand shape. Adjust them accordingly, to fit your need. That is all for now. Hope it can make your hair creation process easier and happy blending.